guys, welcome back to my channel. Sari here for the letter V for 30 inks, 30 days. Just forgot to put my blotting paper in. So I will do that now. So today's letter is the letter V and it's an ink I'm super excited about. It's Diamine Vivaldi. I've swatched this ink and really, really enjoy it. Um, and I have, I'm going to definitely, I think, include it in my, let me just look at that. Can you see it? might be a bit too dark. Going to include it in my May currently inked. Um, but I actually have a question for you guys about this ink. I was reading um, from the Mountain of Ink, you know, basically the matriarch of <laughs> ink swatching and information. If you haven't looked at her Instagram or website, I mean, just literally turn off this video now and go have a look. Um, and when she was looking, oh, there's a baby crying outside. When she was testing um, and reviewing the music, Die My Music series, she actually said that she found overall the series to be um, quite dry, um, definitely on the drier side. I think Vivaldi was one of the, not and not a wet ink, but the least dry of them. But I'd just be really interested if that was also your experience. Um, and it, is have they been dry to the point that you've kind of, it's kind of limited the um, the pens you've been able to use? Um, it, I mean, it writes really nice on this nib. You can definitely see it's like coating it. Um, but yeah, have you tried any of the music series and and like Mountain of Inks reviews? Have you found them? just drier or, you know, has it been dry to the point of prohibitive? Because in terms of like a really nice, deep, moody purple, I think this is pretty, pretty gorgeous. Look at that. Look at that on the page and where it gets really dark. Oh, so gorgeous. Our world for today, I'm pretty sure I'm going to this pronounce. So I'll write it first, you know what we haven't done in a while? Using the timestamp of the comments, do you know what this word means? Venust, Venust. I didn't, um, I couldn't find the Google tell me how to say it thing for this one. This word means beautiful, graceful, and elegant. I just realized I have raced through this because I didn't actually talk about the ink. I just was like, have you used it? Is it dry? What's the word? No, no, no. So this ink for me ticks the wheelhouse, like ticks the box of deep, dark, moody, but not dark to the point that it's just like black. Like it is very clearly a purple, um, but you know, you're not going to have any trouble reading it. You probably could use it for work if you wanted to. It, ha it can, you know, have got form formality to it and even though it's dark there is just layers and layers to it it has character the lighter bits looking where it really gets dark and I don't know if it's almost like a bit of a, a brown I don't know if it's brown or black but you're getting something along in there I just I love it I'm really really liking purple inks um I <laughs> cleaning this pen and I almost dipped it back in the sample vial which would have been very counterintuitive. I'm liking purple a lot more than I thought I would and pink. Um, looking at it I think this actually has quite a nice nice relationship to the ink above. You could actually see them pairing quite nicely together but look at that darker pool there. Oh, is it catching the light in the camera a little bit? But to me that is just so so gorgeous all right hopefully i've done actually done a little bit of explaining now the other inks i would love to try in the music series are i think it's mozart is like that kind of whiny burgundy burgundy um and wagner though i don't know if that would end up being a little bit too light i definitely maybe only a sample I couldn't ever see myself buying a bottle of that. It's not a colour I'd reach for time and time again, whereas this I definitely would reach for time and time again. Um, have to think about what I, what pen I use next month when I ink it up. All right, 
let's jump over and let's add it to when it dries the uh, monthly swatch you know what before we go this one is definitely worth a close up there look as it dries that black sheen coming over the top is it black or brown it's almost like it's black I think but it has like this kind of warmth to it can you see that all right now we'll do what I said we're going to do. Let's go and do the swatch. Okay, I just bent my page a little bit, which is annoying. Let's get this one. Oh, tons of ink. This is going to be a juicy swatch. Ready? Haha, <laughs> look at that goodness look at that so as i said before this is diamine vivaldi i would love to know your experience with the music series do you have a favorite there's something like those two would pair really nicely but i almost like i wonder i'm kind of like forming a palette in my head of like one or both of those two those ones, this one, and then I kind of like that with those, you know, it brings a bit of brightness to it. That one, what's that? How many is that? One, two, three, four, five. That could be six. Or you do interest. Sorry, I'm going on a bit of a tangent here, but I actually really like how this one looks against some of these like brownie yellows. That could be quite nice. Like even that row together, but that's kind of nice. Maybe I do like a purple green month, like those two, those two. Hmm, interesting. Definitely stuff to explore. All right, Ooh, and I just got ink there. Oh no, that's dry. That must be yesterday. All right, guys, enough rambling from me. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.